back to the channel. So, this is trying to drill into anyone's head watching this. The best company to invest in is a cheap company, say $10 million to buy the whole company, meaning the market cap. Um, and a company where the meat, this is to do with mining, or basically any company, you want to buy it for a low price, and then they make a lot per year, and then when make, they're actually making a lot per year, or on the way to making a lot per year, it gets re-rated. So this was lithium or any other mineral. Lithium, um, so this company was small here, under 30 million, had a good project, and it was in the lithium space, and lithium price went from 800, this is lithium, hard rocks by Jameen, $800 to 8,000, and that's why this went like this, a 20x, because one, they were small, two, they didn't have to spend much money to make a lot of money, because of the location of the mine, Exi everything was existing, so they didn't have to build power lines, saving money here and there, and to build the whole mine was only under $100 million, Australian dollars, to make this much tons, they thought they might make, um, $300 tons, so they're going to get out of the ground for 400 sell for 850 but the lithium price went crazy, and that price went to like 8000 or 5000 Spot price, it came back a bit to 3000 now, but you times this number by $3,000 profit, I get you $600 million, and that company was once a $30 million company, and they only had to spend $89 million, so therefore didn't have to dilute the share price, and that's how you get a 20x. So key factors... Low company, anything that's going to grow. So lithium uh, wasn't in demand, went to shortfall. Easier said than done, hard to predict as well. And they had a low capex, didn't have to spend much money to make a lot of money. And that's the perfect share to invest in. Also a bit of luck from drilling, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's what you aim for. So the next thing, lithium sort of had its run. Price, it's had its run, it's came back a bit. Um, but you might get lucky on something where they get good drilling results. Small company that hits something drilling, that's a way to make money as well, but that's more luck. Yeah, so that was that spot price of like $8,000. Terra mind, this is lithium carbonate, not lithium hydroxide. And this is a spot price, not the actual contract price. So people like Tesla get this for a lot less. Nevertheless, the companies are printing money doing lithium. Um... And yes, so the next thing might be graphite. So lithium, let's go back to, oh, can't go back. Oh, here we are. So time to buy lithium before it went crazy. Easy said than done, but graphite could be next. So graphite now, if you look back at like this study, how they thought they were going to make $850. Actually, now they're making like 3000 to 5000 SYR, similar position. They're only making like, 565 and selling it for 688. This is like the biggest producing graphite, natural graphite thing on the ASX. Barely making money right now because it's not in shortfall. There's plenty of natural graphite go around. Um, and look at this thing with, I'll find this thing here. When it actually went to shortfall. <clears throat> so they thought 2022, going to shortfall. Look, that tiny bit of shortfalls really shot the price up. See that reflects here. Yep. That tiny bit of shortfall started knocking the price up and things went a bit crazy. Graphite shortfall predict around 2025, 26, I believe. I think it starts in 2024. Um, but yeah, it could be the same as lithium. I'm not saying it will be, but it seems sort of logical. Like they don't need it. They're not spending the money to build the mines now. Like they're not going to have it then because they didn't spend the money now to build the mines. It probably the price will go up first. And then the investors will come in saying, we'll give you the money to build the mines because the price is up and it should shoot up. You would think, I wouldn't be buying, I prefer to buy not this company, there's 600 million already. I prefer to buy a company such as this me personally, it could be totally wrong and it's risky. ITM, <clears throat> 26 million. And they don't have a study out yet, but their neighbor, basically the same, not far away from them, everything's going to be similar. Similar capex has a study to spend a hundred million dollars and make a hundred million dollars in EBITDA per year with natural graphite, and that's before any shortfall hits. So CXO they thought they were going to make um, that low amount, and then graphite price goes shortfall, and they make a lot more than they expected. 
So this could be the same with natural graphite companies. And I'm a big believer in buying something small that's going to get into production. Like this company here. Massive resource in South Australia. And I'll be biased because I own this stock. But I think there's a lot of natural graphite stocks you can buy. Could be the same. This is one I don't own. They have a massive thing in Kazakhstan, which is near China, near Europe. They're not 19 million. Always look at the ASX for the actual price. Um, which might be 40, 30, 40 million, maybe. 38 million. Massive resource. They also have to get the metallurgy right, which is actually you get it out of the ground. And then you can process it into the battery material. So they're pretty good there. Um, TON ASX. So there's a lot of companies coming. Um, this one I think is a bit overpriced for the time. But all these companies with a good resource in graphite, you want to like pick the best ones. Could go very well and you could make a lot of money being patient, buying when no one cares about graphite because no one actually cares about graphite. All the graphite videos on YouTube are from me. And fast forward 2025, 26, going to be a different story. People are going to need graphite because these electric vehicles are getting cheaper and cheaper. The Cybertruck um, is being made. They're going to print those out. People want to buy those. Tesla, Mexico factory with the cheap car. Mexico. So Tesla's going to build this cheap car. They reckon around $24,000. So who's going to buy a petrol car when you can get a Tesla, which everyone loves for that price there? Um, later and larger than expected. So yeah, it's not going to be overnight, but it will slowly happen because they're slowly getting better. It's not as if we're going back to petrol cars. No, electric cars are coming and they're slowly getting better. Tesla's making them better. The competition BYD is making them better. And guess what? They're going to need natural graphite. And the battery of choice right now is LFP, lithium ion phosphate, and then LMFP will probably become the battery of choice because they mix a bit of magnesium in there and creates a high, high energy density battery. So I think that will be the one of choice because it doesn't contain the expensive stuff. I think the most expensive thing in it is probably the lithium because iron and phosphate isn't that expensive at the moment anyway. Magnesium, not sure about that, but it doesn't have nickel in there, which is really the pinch factor for those other batteries. Um, anyway, so leave it at that. Remember, natural graphite is going to be definitely needed in the batteries. No one cares about it now. No one probably will for a couple of years. Um, yeah, you could jump. Like, when does it jump? So you could have been here, 26, only 4x. Um... Hmm. So I take it a bit of this upswing was, wasn't with lithium price. It was probably with them drilling, getting a bit of project. Um, and then that was a price there. Not totally sure, but yes, we'll leave it at that. I don't know really what I'm talking about, but don't buy a company that has a high capex, already hard to buy them, and where the factors are against you. Not saying that's hot chili limited. Anyway, leave it at that. So electric vehicles coming. They need natural graphite. So the price has to go one way. And that's probably up. Good night.